with another haul video. This one is going to be a eBay haul. I did one of these about three years ago, almost to the date, like, well, in May. It was like kind of an embarrassing video. I was much younger and I was over excited and I had just gathered all of these um, packages and I unwrapped them all on camera for you guys. I'll leave the link to it down below, but it got like really high views um, and I thought, you know, people like this sort of stuff. It got loads of views and I absolutely love watching eBay hauls. Loads of stuff on eBay, I'm gonna have to admit, is absolute junk. Um, but if you sift through it right, you can find some absolutely amazing deals. And that's what I've done in this case. So most of this is beauty related, bar I think one thing. And I've been waiting for a while and just building up the packages. And I've done it a bit more unique than everyone else. I find that everyone just sort of shows the items. They don't really unpack it on camera. Like these are all sealed packages, bar one, um, that is, I haven't actually seen the items for yet. <laughs> I am just constantly ordering from eBay and I've been sort of compiling this stuff for a month. Um, a couple of things have come from China, so it's taken a bit longer. But obviously, because I've not opened it, I'm not 100% of what's arrived and what hasn't. I'm pretty sure the only things that haven't arrived are really small things. Um, but I've just ordered a bunch of, like, rompers and stuff off eBay, so I can do another eBay haul if you guys want to see, um, that as well. Just let me know in the comments down below. So without further ado, let's get into this eBay unboxing and, uh, haul. So the first thing I'll just show you is not beauty related, um, and it came... It did come in a box because I thought that this was something that it wasn't, that I hadn't ordered off eBay. Um, so I accidentally opened it. But this is obviously from China. And, oh, I better grab my phone so I can tell you guys the prices. But this is just something that I don't know why, but I I was convinced I needed. Um, it's, how can I explain it? By the way, everything that I am obviously mentioning, I will put as a link down below. It's this. Which is going to look confusing, but this is actually called a <clears throat> Romantic Astro Planetarium Star Celestial Projector Cosmo Light Night Sky Lamp. <laughs> oh wow. This was £4.74 and this is what it looks like in the picture. And this is like the effects that it showed. I just, it came like this in lots of little pieces. Obviously very, very cheap. Um, I don't imagine it's going to be as strong as the pictures show it, but I thought for £3 I'd give it a go because I love sleeping, like, I'd love the idea of sleeping with, like, just looking like a galaxy around me, like, that would be amazing. So, that's why I gave this a go. Well, I haven't given it a go yet, but that's why I bought it, so I could, uh, see if that's something that, uh, actually works. It may be a load of rubbish, but that's the great thing, is, uh, when they're cheap enough, you can just buy them and try it out and if it doesn't work chuck it away now everything else is beauty related so this is the only thing that I opened because I knew what it was when it came and I just got too excited but I haven't actually felt them either these are pretty much amazing so I bought the Real Techniques bold metal um, brushes I bought what and I bought one of them the rose gold contouring one but I've left it in Malaysia and it's with my friend in Manchester and she's not posting it back to me because she's super busy so I really miss them. Um, so I decided to get um, some of these which is the fake ones that they showed online. I know I never promote getting fake brushes. Or no, I never, I, actually I've never said that. I just never promote getting fake items. I never promote getting fake makeup. Like fake brushes I kind of understand but fake makeup don't just just don't guys because it's not worth the the possible um, allergic reaction it's not worth it but brushes I mean they're harmless obviously it's not good that I'm not buying them full price but they're like 30 pounds a brush and I'm sorry but real techniques they're meant to be affordable so these are the brushes that come in here I have not felt these yet but I've heard really good reviews of people who have bought these so oh they're sick. Oh my god, they're so light compared to the real ones. Um, oh, but the bristles feel exactly the same. They're super duper light. Like, they do not feel like the real ones. The real ones are super heavy. Um, but they look just the same. So this is the foundation one that's the gold. Then we have the other gold one, which is the face powder brush. This feels also, I've, the thing is I've never felt this one because this was the most expensive of them all that you could buy um, in the stores and I've never bought it but I imagine that the real one perhaps will be a bit more dense. Maybe not though. It feels beautiful. Like I cannot wait to use this. Like this is beautiful. Then going on to the rose gold. This is the one that I actually have um, and it looks, the bristles look almost identical. 
but this one is slightly more obviously like flimsy but still the real techniques one is quite dense but enough still which is not too dense how can i put it i don't know um and obviously this is the rose gold one very light again they're all light but still gonna do the job and then this is oh something's happened to the packaging i think the bristle's gonna be a bit oh no, it's fine this is the blush brush i think it was because this was the contour and then this was the blush, I think. But this is a beautiful size brush. Like, this is going to be nice, probably, for highlight. Um, again, it's the rose gold. And the bristles all feel so incredibly soft. Like, And then there's three little silver ones. And this is the first one here. Um, it's just a sort of domed concealer brush, I should imagine. I'll probably use this for concealer or a little side nose contouring. Um, or you could use it for blending eyeshadow, but I probably wouldn't recommend it because it doesn't like it would like blend super well because it's quite dense still. Um, we have this one here, which would be very, very good for under eye setting powders. Um, looks beautiful. And then the final one is one that I will also give my use out of because I'm using the hell out of my Sigma one, which is just the little angled eyeliner slash eyebrow brush. Um, but yeah, these are the, the brushes. They are, do you know what? I paid, these were actually the, one of the cheapest, like there's tons of fake ones on um, on eBay and there's a lot of them that say they're real techniques, um, which these ones actually don't have any of the RTs on the side or any numbers or anything on it, they're just plain. Um, and these were £5.69 with free shipping. Like what? Also the light thing was free shipping, it's £4.74 just on its own. But these were, um, it says 7 piece pro real metal techniques brush face. Uh, brushes and it was £5.69 with free shipping from China. It did actually take quite a little while to get here but nevertheless they were worth the wait considering you can't even pay £5 for one of these brushes. That's incredible. Okay this. This also came from China. I think this was a last minute buy um, because I was watching eBay hauls and I um, seen that someone said these were really good. So for the price as well. So let's open it up. Yep, it's what I thought it was. Um, so it came packaged like this. And it's actually makeup. Believe it or not, I've bought makeup on eBay. I never ever do that. Um, these were one pounds, one pounds? One pound 68. And they are the True Lip, sorry, M, sorry, the Me Now, which is the same as some liquid lipsticks I've ordered. Um, True Lips uh, Lip Liner Pencils. Just one line that will completely change your expression. Um, and you get, I think it's 12? Yeah, 12 pieces and I watched a review of not a review like a eBay haul where someone showed these and said oh and said that they were really really good oh considering they were one pound something and lip liners is somewhere that I don't really delve into like I don't really spend money on lip liners I don't know why it's just not my not my thing I have sent like I've like two high-end nude lip liners because I use them all the time but like other colors I won't buy because I don't wear them enough but I find that like, you kind of need lip colors for more lip colors lip liners for colors so these are the 12 colors you get there is some really nice light neutral pinks there is this is the most neutral of the bunch which looks like this see how they're actual pencils to me they just seem like your generic lip liner they don't seem anything bad they don't seem anything like groundbreaking um but that was the nude let me try a really oh my gosh who would use this one it's like a oh it's red okay i thought it was like a chocolate brown um let's try one of the musky dusky pink ones oh wow that's a nice color they're swatching lovely like yeah like can you see i'm gonna do this yeah i'd say that they're pretty good considering you know what no they are freaking amazing since they are one pound sixty and you get 12 of them. And I mean, these are more for just experimenting, like I said. Um, and lip products as well, you haven't got to worry too much. Okay, lipsticks you have, but lip liner is something that you're probably not going to end up getting into your mouth. It's something you haven't got to worry about too much. Um, like, if they're cheap or expensive. Because, um, obviously, you're not, like, it's not properly on your face. I don't know what I'm saying. Always be concerned with cosmetics. But this, are you kidding me? £1.68 for 12 lip liners. That are pretty good quality. I'm in. Alright, the next thing is something that was like not like not cheap for what it was. It was just like cheaper than if I bought it in the store. 
Um, so this was £4.95. I know exactly what it is before I even opened it. Um, and it's something I've been curious about <clears throat> for quite a little while. So this is the Real Techniques um, Miracle Complexion Sponge. I've heard a million and one people talk about this. Um, oh, I got a hiccup, sorry. It's supposed to be just a very good sponge. This is not a fake, this is a real one because the ones you can buy in the shop, I don't know if they're, they're like £6 maybe, I think they are, but this was £4. I just got it slightly cheaper, so I thought I'd get it online. Um, but yeah, I don't know, it's just one that I've, I've wanted to try and it looks good. And uh, yeah, I do like my beauty blender, but I've heard that this is also very, very good. Alright, this one, I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Um, this is not beauty, but it is like relative, I suppose. Um, yeah, they're what I thought it was. So, when you're on eBay, you have to order some sunglasses. Like, you just have to because they're so, so cheap. And I got these for £3.55. They were the last pair as well. And I really like, obviously, dark framed, like, dark um, lens glasses because they do the job. But I do love the look of um, regular like pink lenses I've had like purple gradient lenses and I loved them but I actually broke those um they were only cheap as well so I thought I'd get some of these that are pink lens oh wow they they need a very good clean um so they're silver silver rimmed and pink lens and they're aviators and I friggin love them I'm going on holiday as well soon so these are gonna be perfect. Okay, next package is also, I have an idea of what this is. So these ones are from the UK and these are a set of brushes. And these were four pounds 95 and you get 10, no you don't, yeah you do. Yeah, you get 10 brushes. And I just bought these because I go to my boyfriend's quite a lot now and I just feel like I'm taking my brushes from home and I don't really need to do that when they're affordable um because then I like either forget them at his or something so I just bought some more brushes and I am kind of on the hunt to see like which ones are good because I might get some for work as well um just to have as backup but these are almost like the Sigma ones but they don't look anything like them they're just the same style you get five face brushes and five little contour eye concealer brush things um but let's have a little look at the quality of these guys so this is the flat top oh gosh why do they all come in constant plastic oh wow it's, yeah there's a little bit of longer hairs in there but you can just cut those off um so yeah this is just the the regular flat top dual fiber brush it's quite flimsy there's not many bristles there it's definitely not as dense as the sigma ones but it's very very soft nevertheless i think that would be great just whatever for buffing this is the um, round top here, so you can see slightly different. Again, this one hasn't got any um, stray hairs. It's still fine and lovely. The next one is the angled um, Kabuki. This one is probably the worst because it's very, very light and flimsy, like very. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one. And then we have the round top angled, which is a bit better. In fact, that, actually that's much better. It's much more dense. Feels nice too. And then the final one is the tapered kabuki. And again, that one feels really dense and nice too. And I love this for setting under my eye. It's the only brush I'll use, um, the Sigma version, but this type of brush is fabulous. So that was the five face brushes. I think they were very good considering if you break it up per brush, it's like not even like 50p, which is incredible. And then we'll go into the smaller brushes. So this one is just a, I would use this as a blending brush. It's a like angled, angled round top. Um, definitely we have to use this for our, um, shadow. It's not going to be good for a cream. It's not got enough control. This is the flat top here, which is also very, very flimsy. I don't know about that one. The angled flat top, again, also very, very flimsy, but you could use that for blending eyeshadow. <clears throat> The round top, again, just another blender, I should imagine. And then finally, the tapered, which this one would be absolutely fine for concealer. It's much more dense than the other four. Um, but that's just what they look like there. I think, yeah, considering this set was four pounds, um, not even five pounds, I think that these are very good brushes for the fact that also it was a UK setter. They were like one of the first things that came, um, which is pretty cool. Um, and the price is on point. And they did them in pink and stuff as well, but I just went for black. Okay, moving on. This next 
This next one is here. This is actually signed for, like, and I'm pretty sure there's two products in here if it's what I think it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. So I have been watching recently Cardi by Bell, and she swears by these two products. They're the LA Girl Pro Conceal, and I got two colours. I got Creamy Beige and Toast, and each one was £3.20 each. Um, so this is what it looks like, because Toast is the one... Ooh, okay, cool. Oh, I think that one's going to be a bit dark, because I had to try and guesstimate the colours, but these are the two that I got here. I did get Toast because this is the one she uses all the time for contouring um, and she completely rocks the contour so I was like I have to try it for myself and so I got this one. It was sold out on like loads of the sellers that I could have got it cheaper for um, so I got it on this seller and then this is the other one that I got in creamy beige but it's a little bit a little bit dark. I think this would be fine for concealing blemishes but maybe not under the eyes. It's just a tad dark, but I'll have to see how they go. Literally, she like uses them all the time. I've heard loads of people talk about these. Like LA Girl is not a expensive brand at all. Um, but yeah, I, I thought I'd definitely try them since she was using them all the time and recommending them all the time. All right, we're down to the last thing, which is probably one of the most exciting. And I did debate, and it's the most expensive in this haul as well. I did debate whether I needed this or not. Um, so if I just cover up my address. It came with Fragile. This came like literally the day after I ordered it. It was so good. Um, this was uh, most the most expensive out of them all, but it is £15. And let's just open it up. Ah, and this is what I got. So, it's just a black box. I bought a black box. <laughs> no. So this was advertised on eBay, as the title exactly says. Um, 35 colour orange warm tone palette Morphe 35O dupe natural glow and I have been trying to get my hands on that Morphe palette but on eBay the real ones are going for stupid money and I'm like there is no way I'm paying that but this one was actually advertised as a dupe for it so it's just a plain palette oh and this is what it looks like it's not like I've never been I've never seen the real Morphe palette in real life but this is a beautiful selection of colors like very very similar to it you've got a lot of your oranges in there the brick tones a lot of them are shimmery a lot of them are matte I'm definitely willing to give this a go I think like it's pretty similar to the um, to the actual Morphe palette I will still definitely try and get my hands on that when and if I can but this is 15 pounds I think the Morphe one like if you buy it on the website it's $35 or something so it's about 20 so well over 20 pounds but then you've got to consider shipping and stuff. I will definitely give this a go. The colours look absolutely phenomenal. I mean for 15 pounds and next day delivery wow. So guys that was everything in this haul. I think that it was you know I love shopping on eBay. I constantly do like I said I've got still a ton of orders waiting to come in and now I know what's arrived and what hasn't. I can definitely do another eBay haul if you guys enjoyed this one but make sure you let me know because otherwise it depends. I might just open the stuff when it gets here and you know just let me know what you want. Yeah, so I hope you all have enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions about any of the items that I bought, please let me know. I will do my best to obviously link every item down below. But sometimes the like the listing ends and sometimes it's not available. But I'll write it down below if it's not available. Or, and I'll like put an alternative if I can find one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you all in my next one. Stay beautiful. Ciao.